It's the subject of the hit documentary series, Making a Murderer. A Wisconsin man is wrongly convicted of rape. Stephen Avery, she believed, was her attacker. With regard to the charge of first degree sexual assault, guilty. And sent to prison for 18 years. They let Stephen Avery sit behind bars for 18 years, knowing full well that he wasn't the guy they were looking for. After he is exonerated by DNA evidence, a pretty young photographer is sadistically butchered. Her remains and vehicle found on the man's property. It was the worst day in my life. A jury sends him back to prison, this time for murder. This guy spends 18 years in prison for a crime he doesn't commit. He's exonerated. And now all of a sudden he's charged with the murder of this other woman. Could the legal system have gotten it wrong again? Or did this man actually commit a truly unspeakable crime, believing he had already paid the price? He said uh, that he had a right to do this. For the first time, experience a gripping dramatization of what may have happened that terrible Halloween night. <laughs> Based on damning evidence, the documentary shockingly omitted. <laughs> evidence that convinced a jury to put away a killer for good. Making a murderer really manipulated the truth. Meet Stephen Avery, obscure owner of a salvage yard and falsely convicted felon until murder made him famous.